Yeah, still on the linear uh, differential equation, uh, we have this question. Uh, you can see the question. And we have something called uh, boundary, uh, some conditions here. When x is, uh, this one means x is, uh, this is x is 0, and this is 0, y is what? y is uh, 2. So, so anytime you see something written like this, equal to 1. So this means x is a uh, this is x and this is y. And this is 1, y is uh, 1. So what we do to this question is very simple. Um, we need to check the question. What can we do? This is a first uh, order differential equation. Okay, so that's that. Can we write this equation in this form? Let's check if we can write in this form p of x y equal to what? f of x. Can we do that? Let's check. So let's check. We can move this one to the other side. So we have x uh, dy dx minus 4y equal to what? Uh, equal to this. So, so it's looking like that. Okay? Move to the other side. Then the next thing to do now is to divide through. Divide through. This equation is of this form a1 and y prime plus a naught to the check uh, uh, y equal to f of x. So it's of this form. Okay? Then we have to make it of this form. So divide through by the attachment of the y. So that would be equal to the y uh, dx uh, minus 4 over x. Isolate that y. Okay? And then equal to what? Uh, this will be x5 here. Yeah. So please don't forget x. We are dividing through by x. So in this case now, it has now look exactly like this. In the, in the sense that your p of x now, don't forget, is minus, is minus 4 over x. The attachment to your y is all for the p of x. And your p of x here is negative, negative here. Okay? That's uh, minus 4 over x. Okay, then this is linear. This is linear in y. This is linear in y. Okay, this is linear in y. So what can we do now? Let's get the integral, uh, integral factor mu equal to e um, p of x dx. And that will equal to e. Do that. Okay. The 4 can go outside. The minus 4 can go outside. That will be x uh, dx. And that will give us what? Uh, e minus 4 ln x and that will be equal to what? e and then this minus 4 can come here on top here that will be x minus 4 and the answer will be equal to what? x minus 4 which is what? which is uh, 1 over x4 1 over x4 don't forget something about the exponential function if you have e ln f of x it will go to what? f of x okay so that's that on that question. We've got in the integral factor. Then the next thing to do now is to get the, uh, the, and don't forget also, uh, the, your f of x in this question is, uh, x5 dx. That's your, your f of x. So this is your f of x here. That's your f of x. So let's get the general solution. The general solution will be equal to the other solution will be equal to y equal to 1 over integral factor, uh, which is what? Which is uh, uh, 1 over x4, open bracket, integral of what? 1 over x4 times my f of x is uh, x5 dx dx, okay? dx then plus c, close the Um then you have this is a fraction and you have the inverse of that so that will then we will give you what x4 and this one will give us uh, this will go here it will mean one here so you have integral of this and this the x plus c so and this is a product that's a product so in that case now that will call for what we call integration by parts idp integration by parts so and whereby, I'm going to make this one due because it becomes simpler on differentiation. 
So this u is what uh, x. So the u is equal to what dx. My dv is what my dv is a uh, dx uh, dx. So v is what uh, this the integrator exponential function. You have that. Then I'm going to have now. I'm going to have. Um, I'm taking this one out. I'm coughing, I'm coughing this one. So now we got the uv, uv. This one multiply together, then minus minus integral. Uv that's a uh, x ex minus integral v, which is ex. What the u, the u, which is what dx. So this one I'm using. I'm using this uh, formula uv minus v the u. That's what I'm using for the integration uh, by part. Okay. So finally, finally, that expression is now is now this. Uh, is this minus if you integrate this, that's just ex. So let's go back to that uh, y equal to x4 x4. Uh, put your brackets. That will be equal to uv this one minus what minus ex then plus c so that's that on that uh, question so the next thing for us to do is to get the c we need to get the c from this expression uh, let's do that quickly like you can allow this one to go in you can go in if you want to if you want to then let's open that brackets uh, that will be this one times this one that will be x5 x5 ax then minus minus uh, x4 ax plus c x4 let's open that bracket call this one your y then after that you can substitute now your y is 2 okay your y is 2 and then zero, s is 0 so this is 0 0 times this 0 times this we only have here um kami one not uh, the boundary condition is one so this is one uh, that's one uh x is one when y is two so two so this is what e to power one minus this one also uh e then plus uh this one is a uh, one plus c so this one we cancel out so c is what C is a C is a two. C is two. So we just come back here and put the value of uh, value for C as two, and that will make the end of the uh, end of the. So that will be equal to y equal to x four into brackets uh, this this minus this plus two. So that's that on that uh, on that question. Okay, that's that on that question. So this is just for you to know how to do your uh, integration by parts. You have to do your integration by parts. Okay, so that's that. Okay, please join the next video. And if you are new on this channel, please hit that uh, notification bell so that as we upload, you get notified. Thank you for that.